Hello friends, I am Dr. Fazil and you are watching my channel Crazy Gardening. So friends, today we are going to discuss about a micronutrients. So the question is that what micronutrients actually are. So micronutrients are also known, known as trace elements. Uh, so the question is that why micronutrients are essential for the plants? Because the plants are, uh, you know, taking the nutrients uh, like uh, nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium that comes under the category of macronutrients. So plants are continuously uh, uh, taking macronutrients, but they missed uh, to take the uh, micronutrients. Uh, so for that purpose, we are going to make a uh, video uh, just for your knowledge purpose that uh, how we can uh, collect micronutrients for the plants and what are the methodology to give the plants uh, for their proper intake. Uh, one thing I would like to tell you, there are three kinds of uh, nutrients uh, that are classified as basic nutrients, macronutrients and micronutrients. Basic nutrients are CHO like carbon, hydrogen and oxygen that plants directly take from the aeration or the air. But the uh, major elements like NPK, like nitrogen, phosphorus and potash, they take through uh, vermicompost, through any other compost like vermicompost and cow dung compost or any other media like leaf molds and ETC or the fertilizer, the organic fertilizer and inorganic fertilizer that you are go going to give the plants they take uh, their basic elements or the uh, like uh, um, uh, macronutrients from these kinds of uh, um, uh, materials but the question is that how to uh, how these plants uh, get micronutrients so friends i would like to tell you that uh, micronutrient is a uh, you know a specific substance without that the plants root unable to uh, you know absorbs macronutrients so in a nutshell i would like to tell you that micronutrient induce the absorption of macronutrients and micronutrients are like magnesium magnesium sulfur zinc iron and so on so so today we have collected a pi industry macronutrient that is bio vita uh, and it is a seaweed fertilizer seaweed fertilizer are a very important you know and organic substance that plant directly absorb through roots or through leaves and, and these are the extract of Escophyllum nodiosum. So friends, first of all, I would like to clear the myth about the uh, seaweed fertilizer. Uh, friends, seaweed fertilizer are the fertilizer that are extracted from the weeds that grow under the sea. Means they may be the weeds that grow under the sea and they are the rudimentary parts of animal that that and decay under the sea under the water so these basically these seaweed fertilizer is the extract of that and these contain uh, you know many uh, micronutrient like sulfur magnesium calcium sodium boron iron magnesium and zinc and copper also and the question is that how to use uh, these uh, seaweed fertilizer to the plant means how plant take this sea fertilizer uh, so I would like to demonstrate uh, the method how you can perfectly give it to your plant for proper absorption of micronutrient as well as macronutrient until the plant get micronutrient that is impossible to get macronutrient through the root because these are macronutrient inducers until that if you if you are not going to give these to the plant uh, there may be the chance that your plant may not get to, you know proper macronutrient so let's start it how to give it so friends you can see there is a bucket uh, filled with the water and uh, the water is uh, six to seven liter uh, i have already filled up the water in a bucket it is uh, six to seven liter and this sea fertilizer, you know, half tablespoon in a one liter of water, you have to dissolve it. So I am going to dissolve half this tablespoon, uh, this fertilizer into this. Well, in a total, I'll add three tablespoons in a six liter of water. So you can see the color and the texture, color and the texture of the uh, of this sea with fertilizer. It is a completely black substance. which is a you know little fall smell like uh, fishy smell 
uh, emerging from this uh, black substance you can see it is a little uh, pungent or you can see fishy smell coming out uh, from this black substance and i am adding three uh, six uh, half tablespoon into this water one two it is approximately 6 because i have already given this to the plant so it is just a demonstration to show you how these work and what are the methodology to give the plant in a perfect way so to dissolve this seaweed fertilizer sorry i have already dissolved this seaweed fertilizer into the water now i'll show you how to give it to the plant so friends first mix it properly in such a way that all the ingredients get dispersed the first method is either you can directly give it to the root a uh, few basic thing that is uh, necessary to let you know before giving to the seaweed fertilizer or any micronutrients or macronutrients to the plants you have to stop the water at least two day before so i have stopped the water of these plants two day before and you can see the leaves are drooping you can see leaves are drooping buds are drooping that mean the plant is under water stress conditions here you can also see you can see the plants are heavily under water stress condition the basic reason of this is that if the plant is highly under water stress condition if you will add this liquid fertilizer to the root zone the root is uh, readily absorb the micronutrients through uh, capillary action uh, for proper growth development and reproduction of the plant so i have already added seaweed fertilizer given it to the root zone actually i have already given this uh, seaweed fertilizer to all my plant but it is just a demonstration because it later came to click to my mind that i must make a video just to show you how this work so it is a very important part to show the gardeners that how to use seaweed fertilizer but this plant uh, you can see here uh, where my aglonemas and uh, few uh, you know alocasia aglonema and uh, philodendrons are kept on my table i have not given it uh, given this fertilizer to this plant so now just for you i am giving it to in front of you you can see this is a, a little blackish substance or brownish substance and i am giving one by one So friends it is very necessary if you are going to give uh, this fertilizer to the plant keep the plant at least two day at least up to two days under its water stress condition so that the absorption of the uh, you know uh, micronutrients get enhanced this is the one way that we have given to the root zone now the second way is foliar spray or is just spray to the uh, root zone so we have uh, this uh, you know spray bottle i am just filling up this substance into this bottle and show you how does this work see i have fill up the water pumping it up properly and adjust the nozzle yeah this is better 
now giving to my cactus. Now cactus love micronutrients like seaweed fertilizer. So on time to time, you need to give or you need to fertilize your cactus with these micronutrients. These are boons to cactus. Here you can see my cactus collection. Here also you can see So friends, you have seen that I have given uh, these micronutrients to my plant in all the possible manners, either in a uh, root zone spray or the foliar spray. Some amount of uh, spray liquid remains to me, so I thought that I must uh, spray to the leaf surface also, because uh, these micronutrients are get absorbed by root as well as the leaves uh, stomata. You can see I have uh, given these, uh, you know, my micronutrients or seaweed fertilizer through foliar spray as well. So friends, if you like my video, just give a click on my video. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe it, share it and take care of yourself. I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, tada bye.